And 
and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the face of the waters. And now let's see what happens. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Hallelujah. Let there be light. And there was light. The Bible made us to know that in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The heart was without form and void. That is, it has no shape. It's empty. The world was empty. It has no shape. A lot of chaos was, was going on in the world, in the earth at that time. And it now said, for the Lord to be able to pronounce light. The Bible made us know that Holy Spirit first of all moved upon the deep of the heart of the surface of the deep and then that was when that utterance came out and said let there be light so what am I trying to say for a new beginning to happen in our life, in our church we need the Holy Spirit we need the Holy Spirit one of our hymns says oh my brother oh my sister as the wheat, Holy Spirit, with the Spirit, in is my last. Jesus shall be to thee. That means without Holy Spirit, it's a life of faith. Without Holy Spirit, there's nothing we can do. Without Holy Spirit, we will struggle to have a new beginning in our home, in the church of the living God. Without Holy Spirit as a foundation of everything, anything we want to do, we're going to struggle. There won't be a new beginning. We'll just be struggling. We want to do it. We want to do it. We'll just be striving. But when we allow Holy Spirit in our lives, when we allow the Spirit of the living God to move in this church, when we allow the Spirit of God to dwell in us reaching, it will teach us all things. It will direct us all things. It will lead us, it will tell you, my daughter, my son, this is how I want you to do it. As a mother in the vineyard of the Lord, we have uh, a delicate role. We played in the house of the Lord. We have that delicate role. We pray and we play in the house uh, in the house of the Lord. And without the Spirit of God in us, we just be struggling. We are there to live, uh, to be a role model to the upcoming, you know, mothers, all coming and uh, all uh, 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 coming, all upcoming mothers, the little ones, they're looking up to us. They make us as a role model. And we, if we don't have that new and uh, that Holy Spirit in us, there's nothing. They won't be able to learn anything from us. So for a new beginning to occur in our home, to occur in our house, it first of us need to come. You know, applicable to us first. We first of all encounter that new beginning. And for you to encounter new beginning, we need Holy Spirit. Because it is the Holy Spirit that will lead us, that will instruct us, that will equip us, that will empower us. This flesh prominent nothing, it is the Spirit that helps. The flesh, it is the Spirit that quickens us, that quickens us. So for us to be able to live a new life, to start a new life, we need the Spirit of the Living God. And I urge us tonight, let us examine ourselves. The Holy Spirit has been there. It's free of charge. The only thing we just need to do is to accept Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. It's a free gift that the Lord has given to everyone. After he sent his only begotten son to die for us on the cross of Calvary. So he made that Holy Spirit to be a free gift unto whoever that, that wants it. Unto whoever who made him 
who made Christ is our Lord and personal Savior. So I pray the grace for us to take the right step to always abide in the Holy Spirit. The Lord will give unto you and I in Jesus' name. In the New Testament, we realize just to show us how powerful Holy Spirit is. Before we go into that theme, Isaiah 43. In uh, Matthew chapter 3, verses 16 to 7. Matthew 3, 16 to 7. I will just narrate it. It's about Jesus Christ. After John baptized him, as he was coming out of water, the Holy Spirit descended upon him like a dove. And then that was when the voice was released from heaven that says, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. We've, re we've heard a lot of prophecy about Jesus Christ. He's going to be born. He will be the comforter. He will be our savior. He will be the healer. He will be the savior of the whole world. But the authority came from above after the Holy Spirit descended on him. And the Lord released that authority. This is my beloved son. That was when he started his ministry. So without the spirit of the living God as the foundation of anything we want to do in life, we'll just be wasting our time. I pray our coming here tonight will never be a waste in Jesus' name. Amen. Anything in us that is carrying the Holy Spirit away from us, the Lord will deal with our flesh and break us down and take away all those iniquity that will not allow the Spirit of God to reside in us in Jesus' name. But we have to be determined that this Holy Spirit, I need you. Because I know without you, I am empty. I am empty. Without you, I can do nothing. Without you, I will just be struggling. This is a determination between you and your God. So I hold us tonight. Let us determine. We want to, we want the spirit of God to dwell in us richly. Whatever that is chasing away the spirit of God in us, we don't want anything to do with such spirit anymore. We need to determine. And when you determine the Lord sees your heart, it will strengthen us in Jesus' name. That will now lead us to Isaiah 43. That says, let me hold on. Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43, chapter 18 to 19. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19. I read. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Yes, those things that are gone now, forget about them. We want a new beginning. Forget about the past, your mistake. What you've done wrong. All those alibi devil is using against you that you, that you just committed sin. And you think the Lord will hear you? Forget about those things. All those disappointments, forget about it. All those persecutions you've embarked, they've thrown at you. Forget about it. They are things of the past. Now said, behold, I will do a new thing. All those names, the wicked ones has named us. Our father's side, our mother's our family, they've named us. They said, oh, that woman, we don't even, we don't even know, it's, we don't know the reason why it's even existing. It doesn't, it's been in the meeting, when we're doing the meeting, doesn't make any sense. All those, you know, those bad names, the Lord has not named you, forget about it. The Lord is telling you is going to give you a new name because we're starting a new beginning. We saw what God did in the life of Jezebel. Uh, 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 what is the name of this? The, uh, the, boy, the, baby, the son, the boy, the, uh, the mother gave birth to, and they said the son of sorrow. Jabez, yes. thank you, sir. <laughs> so, you know, when he cried out to the Lord, what happened? His name was changed. Yes. So no, now forget about all those names they've called you. Forget about it. You don't want to remember. Uh, I don't need, no, we don't want to remember. Uh, Allies, we don't want to remember. Uh, Oponi, we don't want to remember. You know, all those names that you've been hearing people are calling you about, name we would. Forget about it. Face the future. 
the Lord says he's going to give you a new beginning. And it's not a man that will lie, neither a son of man that will repent. Whatever he says, he will do it. All we just need is release yourself to him. Allow the Holy Spirit to be the driver of your life. Let Holy Spirit, let Holy Spirit continue to lead us. Teach us what to do, what to say, how to say it, how to pray, for we know not how to pray. Omoa says, lean not for your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge you and will direct our path. So I hold us tonight as we tap in into it, as we make that determination that I want a new beginning, and to allow the Spirit of the living God into our life to lead us, it shall be easy for us in Jesus' name. A new beginning will happen in His church in the name of Jesus. It will happen in our household in the name of Jesus. It will happen in individual's life in Jesus' name. But remember, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit is important. So before I run up, I want us to uh, to tell us some of the things Holy Spirit can do for us. When we have Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will guide us. When we have Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit will comfort us because He's the comforter. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send my Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that will guide you in all things. So Holy Spirit makes our fear to disappear. When you have Holy Spirit in you, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. You won't be able to, and you won't, you won't be scared of trying new things. You won't be scared of standing for Christ because that Holy Spirit will be dwelling in us richly. It will take away the spirit of fear and will give us the spirit of boldness. Hereby we cry, Abba Father. When we have Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit makes us to get rid of discouragement. Yes, a lot of discouragement we're going to see. In the world, the Bible has even said it. He said, In this world, you're going to see a lot of tribulation, but be of good check. I have overcome the world. When you have Holy Spirit in you, it will not allow discouragement to set in in our life, it will make us to get rid of discouragement. When we have Holy Spirit in us, Holy Spirit heals our wound and replaces it with his peace. He heals our wound and replaces it with peace. Holy Spirit enable us to wait for the right time and the right person. Because the, uh, the, the, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Though it's time, it will surely come. It will not be. It will not be late. It will come. So when we have Holy Spirit in us, it will make us to be patient. We will patiently wait for the right time. Because God's time is the best. We will wait for the right person. We won't be in a hurry. We won't want to use our own understanding. The Lord will enable us in Jesus' name. When we allow Holy Spirit in us, it frees us from laziness. We won't just be lazy or procrastinating. Yeah, I will do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. You were given the message. Oh, I will do it tomorrow. They say, do this. Yes, I will do it tomorrow. Oh, if not because of my daughter now. When my daughter grows up a little bit, I will do that thing. God has instructed me to do. No. If you have the Spirit of the Lord in us, if we allow the Spirit of God to dwell in us richly, it will free us from laziness. We'll be active in the spirit realm. We'll be active spiritually because it will prompt you, go, my daughter, do this. And then when you have a obedient spirit, then definitely you won't be lazy. You will obey the instruction given to us by our Heavenly Father. I pray the Spirit of God will not depart from us in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit subdue flesh. It's subdue flesh. I've said that earlier. And Holy Spirit help us not to compromise. That is, come what may. Nothing will separate me from the love of Christ. Because we have encounter with the Holy Spirit. And you know what the Holy Spirit is capable of doing. So no matter what people are saying, we say, no, I'm not going to forsake my Christ. I know whom I believe it. And I know what he has said concerning my life will come to pass. May the Lord continue to bless us in Jesus. And the Holy Spirit makes us to have self-control. Self-control. That is very, very important. Anyone without self-control, I don't see where that person is going. That person, I, I don't know. I don't know what will happen. If you cannot control yourself, self-control is very, very important. But when we have Holy Spirit in us, you see people saying a lot of evil about you. You see people saying evil things. You see people reacting. But you'll be able to not control yourself. 
that this thing I will not do it. People will want you to do something that will make the devil to use as an alibi before you and uh, before your maker to say, oh, that your daughter, she just prayed now. See what she's doing, oh, my God. And she's just prayed. That's an alibi. And that can uh, disturb our blessing from God. All this power, the devil can use that against us. But when we have self-control, no matter what devil could bring us away, we'll be able to control ourselves and pray as we uh, determine to allow the Spirit of God to dwell in us richly, the Lord will continue to strengthen us in Jesus' name. Can we all stand up, please? And let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord for the word that has come forth. Let's begin to bless His holy name. Let's thank Him for the love He had for you and I, making us to come together to listen at the Spirit tonight. And let's begin to appreciate Him for that new beginning He has started in this church. Begin to appreciate him for the new beginning he has started in your house, in your home, in the life of our children, in the church of the living God. Let's begin to appreciate his holy name. Father, we give you all the praise. We bless your holy name for that new beginning you started in a home. For that new beginning, you started in the church of the Lord. For that new beginning, that then we have no power to cut it short in the name of Jesus. Let us now tell the Lord that, Lord, that new beginning you started in CCC, 70th parish, that devil will not have power to subdue it in Jesus' name. Let's call it into prayer. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, eternal rock of faith, we come before you tonight to pray. That new beginning you started in your church, oh Lord, the devil will not have power over it in the name of Jesus. That new light, that Holy Ghost fire that is burning, that you started in your church. The devil will have no power to keep quenching in the name of Jesus. The devil will have no power to subdue it in the name of Jesus. That new beginning shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Let us now ask for the Holy Spirit of the living God not to depart from us. That the Spirit of God should fill us to the brain. Be grace for us to embrace Holy Spirit that we receive tonight. Let's call it into prayer. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, eternal Lord of faith, this and embrace Holy Spirit right now. Because I realize that that Spirit of the living God in vain is mine. I don't want to live a wasteful life. I don't want to live a life of grace. Father, Lord, I embrace the Spirit, the power of God, in the name of Jesus. I receive tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Let us now tell the Lord, our Lord, the power to sin no more. The power to sin no more. So that your Holy Spirit will not depart from me. So that your Holy Spirit will not depart from your church. Release it to us. Let's turn it into prayer. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, eternal Lord of faith, will come before you tonight to pray. The power to sin no more. We receive in the name of Jesus. The power to sin no more. We receive, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. The power to sin no more. We receive, O Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' victorious name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us now tell the Lord once again, the Lord, the wasted years that has, this church has wasted, we pray for restoration. All those good things that enemy has stolen, either by by negligence or by unchallenged attitude, they've stolen those good things from the church of the living God that tonight we pursue, we overtake, and we recover home. Let's turn this into prayer. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, eternal rock of faith, we stand on the rock of faith tonight, O Lord. We stand in the God, O Lord, for your church. We pray all those wasted years, we restore them tonight in the name of Jesus. We pray for restoration in every four corners of the church, in every four ends of the church. We pray for divine restoration. Everything that you have stolen, either through negligence, either through unchallenged attitude, we stand. 
Let's begin to appreciate his holy name. Father, we bless your holy name. We thank you, Father Lord, for your faithful God. You're not a man that will lie. Neither a son of man that will repent. In Jesus' victorious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Shall we all be seated now? Before I go, there's this song I will sing. That song says, Yoshi, he will do it. According to Isaiah 43, Behold, I will do a new thing. So that song goes like this. Yoshi, 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 Oh, 